Well, folks, we've seen a lot of terrible people doing terrible things on social media lately, but I saw a video that was actually just heartwarming from New York, pure New York City. So best clip of the weekend comes courtesy of some of our friends in New York. This is just the best clip. It's great. This is, this is America in a nutshell. So what you will see in this clip or here is a, um, is a Hamas fan tearing down posters of kidnapped kids. This has become a thing all across the country is that fans of Hamas have decided that there really are no hostages or the hostages don't matter, even though they're small babies who are currently being held in captivity who will almost certainly be murdered by Hamas in this conflict. So they've been tearing down posters of kidnapped children. And uh, a New Yorker, like a full-scale, old-style New Yorker takes offense, and it's pretty great. Why do you rip it off? Why do you rip it off? Why do you rip it off? Put it back. Why do you rip it off? Put it back. Well, show me what you're holding. So here's this guy. He ripped. He's ripping down posters yeah, keep it on. from the. Well, what are you doing? And people have been you know filming this right sort of now? stuff. Do you have any idea this is a, right a man with a beard, no mustache. All right. I'm a veteran. I'm telling you. Right. Don't, Don't do it. And I'm not Jewish. Jewish. He's, he's not Jewish. Jewish. I don't know if he is or not. Doesn't I'm matter. This is you. U.S. That's New York City. You don't have a right to touch that. Shit. This is a free country. You can wave your Palestine flag and say death to the Jews or America whenever you want. But we can put up. Okay. 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 Then don't rip that no, down. You are doing something. You're offending us. Yeah, you are. When you throw that on the floor, you're littering the city. In a minute, I'm going to litter the floor with you. You have the proof? So move the on. You have proof they're not kidnapped? No. So shut the up. Don't touch me. Well, that guy has a free Shabbos dinner on me anytime he wants it. I think most Americans think like that. But by the way, better expression of free speech than everyone on college campus. You have a right to say whatever you want, but if you start ripping down those posters, you start doing that, I'll litter the floor with you. Like, that's that's pretty that's pretty classic New York. And not only is it classic New York, that used to be what America's, I think that's still what America is made of. If it weren't for the decolonization coalition out there that stands for Hamas. By the way, you can see how fast this guy backs down the minute that he's confronted by somebody who actually muscularly is saying no. Okay, that's a pretty good microcosm of how international politics actually works. People are very, very easy about violating Western morality, because they think that the Westerners are going to do nothing but stand by and tape them. And then the minute they're confronted, all of a sudden they get real shy. And that's exactly what happens in that clip. Fall in Charge, it's a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way. The products help you sleep better, perform better, recover faster, reduce inflammation, and so much more. From blue light glasses to red light therapy, Bone Charge products help you naturally address the issues of our modern day way of life effortlessly and with maximum impact. If you haven't already checked out the infrared sauna blanket from Bone Charge, you need to right now. I've been using it. It's great. Basically, it's like a sauna in a blanket. It works by using infrared light, which heats the body directly rather than the air around you like a traditional sauna, which means you get the same benefits at a lower heat. The sweating is good for you. It raises your heart rate to that of physical exercise. You can burn calories while you relax. Plus, you're not sitting you know, sweaty with like other people in a sauna. You're just under a blanket. Bond Charge ships worldwide, offers exceptional customer service, and comes with a 12-month warranty. Go to bondcharge.com slash Ben. Use code Ben. Save 15%. That's B-O-N-C-H-A. R-G-E dot com slash Ben. Use code Ben to save 15% off today. That's bondcharge.com slash Ben. Start getting healthier with Bond Charge products. Bondcharge.com slash Ben. Use code Ben. Save 15% off. The October 15th tax deadline has just passed. I know many of you might be dreading the stress of filing your taxes. Filing your taxes can be a long, excruciating process, but if you fail to file, you'll start to pile penalties on your tax debt. That's why you need to check out Tax Network USA. The team at Tax Network USA has a track record of success. They've reduced tax debts for numerous clients, totaling over $1 billion. Whether you're looking at a $10,000 or $1 million tax debt, they can help you with the settlement. doesn't matter if you haven't filed in a year, five years, even a whole decade. Tax Network USA is equipped to secure the best settlement for you. Their expert attorneys and tax professionals can help resolve all tax cases, no matter how they started. Do not let tax debt control your life any longer. Take the first step toward resolving your tax issues. Visit taxnetworkusa.com slash Shapiro. That is taxnetworkusa.com slash Shapiro today. Again, taxnetworkusa.com slash Shapiro. Go check them out right now. If you're caught up in tax debt, it can absolutely ruin your life. Don't let it fix the problem right now by going and visiting our friends over at taxnetworkusa.com slash Shapiro to get started. Over at Cornell... Violent threats were made sufficient to essentially shut down the kosher dining hall and the Center for Jewish Living. According to media, police were on the scene and investigating at Cornell's Center for Jewish Living after heinous threats to the building and Jewish students were posted online. Screenshots at Social Media Sunday of heinous messages posted in a Cornell University discussion forum over the weekend calling for the murder of Jewish students and making specific threats. 
quote, if I see another Jew on campus, if I see a pig male Jew, I will stab you and slit your throat. If I see another pig female Jew, I will drag you and rape you and throw you off a cliff. If I see another pig baby Jew, I will behead you in front of your parents. If I see another synagogue, another rally for the Zionist globalist genocide apartheid dictatorial entity known as Israel, I will bring an assault rifle to campus and shoot all you pig Jews. Jews are human animals and deserve a pig's death. Liberation by any means from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. So the Hillel Center had to warn students to stay away for their own safety. Great stuff happening over there at Cornell. Cornell also was met with um, a bunch of graffiti on the streets, including F Israel, Free Palestine, Zionism equals genocide, and all the rest. This comes shortly after one of their professors declared the October 7th terror attack on Israel exhilarating and energizing. So solid stuff happening over at Cornell University as well. Again, our, our universities. Garbage heaps. They continue to be garbage heaps. Okay, on the international level, one of the reasons why you're seeing so much international support for Hamas is because there are regimes that see backing Hamas as a way to strike against the Western coalition, particularly the United States. Hamas's leadership, by the way, openly admits this. So Hamas, their leader, guy named Mashal, told Egyptian TV, quote, Russia benefited from our attack because we diverted the Americans' attention from them and Ukraine. They said they'll teach the October 7th attack in their military academies. The Chinese said it's a model and they'll do the same thing to Taiwan. Again, weakness in the face of terrorism breeds contempt from the world's worst, worst people. Meanwhile, China is looking to intervene. They have ratcheted up the anti-Semitism on places like TikTok. China Daily ran an editorial on Monday declaring the United States was, quote, on the wrong side of history in Gaza. It said Washington was exacerbating the conflict by blindly backing Israel. And we've seen this movie again. This is exactly what happened in the 1960s after the Six-Day War. During the Six-Day War, the Soviet Union flipped on Israel. Between 40 and 67, they were kind of pro-Israel because they kind of thought maybe Israel was going to be a socialist state. It wasn't. And then when a pan-Arab movement rose up to try and destroy the state of Israel, the Soviets sided with the pan-Arab movement in a hope to try and create alliances and oil access for the Soviet Union. And they started propagating the myth that Israel was an actual colonial extension as opposed to a decolonization effort by the indigenous Jews. You're seeing the same thing now. Basically, for strategic reasons, Russia and China are trying to ally themselves with Iran and with terror groups across the region and with radicalized Muslims worldwide. Hu Zhejin, an influential commentator and former editor-in-chief to the Global Times, which is a communist party newspaper, responded to hawkish statements from an Israeli minister directed at Hezbollah, writing, quote, oh, calm down, Israel, I'm worried you'll wipe the earth out of the solar system. Again, China is not being shy about who they back in this particular conflict. Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin is literally hosting Hamas at the Kremlin. So he sees uh, an avenue for exacerbating tensions in the region, maybe drawing American resources away from Ukraine and toward what's going on in the Middle East. And so Putin personally met with the leadership of Hamas at the Kremlin. Meanwhile, over in Turkey, Erdogan, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is the dictator of Turkey, he's now threatening to declare war on Israel and send the military to Gaza. That is not going to happen, by the way, but he is threatening it. And the reason he's threatening that, obviously, is because he would like to be part of this Russian-Chinese axis that is forming up in the Middle East. Here's some pictures of a rally in Istanbul. Obviously, the government is behind rallies like this one as well in Istanbul. Look at the size of this rally. Okay, look at the, look at the size of that rally. That, that rally, of course, is in favor of Hamas. Erdogan is accusing Israel of carrying out war crimes in Gaza, which is amazing. Being accused by the Turks of carrying out war crimes. Amazing stuff. Compared the country's actions to the Nazi genocide against the Jews. Ah, yes, that, that old slander. So uh, solid stuff happening. So what should America do? America should back our ally. America should back the moral party in this conflict. And America should be quite muscular in doing so. America should push Iran off the ball. America should make clear that when terrorist groups attack American allies, that we are going to back those American allies. The good news is America can do that on the cheap. It doesn't cost America all that much money to do that. All Israel wants is to be resupplied and wants its hands uncuffed to take out Hamas. That's it. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah. Me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 